you can see, that is one of the brothers that are, that's literally firing photon, either plasma photon weapons at this area in Ukraine, which the new say was a Russian pipeline, Russia's firing a pipeline, but we see this right here. That's Brotherhood firing on their pipelines. You see that, right? Camera don't lie. Alright. And there was another one that was... As you see, that's two of them there. Are there you... with UFOs in Ukraine skies? That's the one right there. There you go. See? There's one right there. There's two of them. There's one right there. One right there. And they're firing on somewhere, some area in Ukraine, which they say was a pipeline. Alright? So there was in Russia that did that. That's so why I tell you guys, don't believe these sections. They lie about everything. The camera never lies. All right. This is the same area where they said that there was a Russian pipeline destroyed. I mean, we carry their pipeline destroyed by Russian, by the Russians, but the Russians and Ukrainians are fighting together. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we told y'all guys, we told y'all about the war in Ukraine and they're fighting against the Brotherhood. It's not the Russians and Ukrainians fighting against each other. Like I said, this is why these Saxons are not going to send their troops. This is why this American corporation is not going to send their troops over there. Say no. And thousands and thousands of Ukrainian soldiers have been killed by the Brotherhood. Alright. Russian soldiers as well. Mm-hmm. The... Now we see what this is. It says UFO destroys Russian tanks. We see what it is now. You see that? So Russia and Ukraine are fighting against the Brotherhood. But this American corporation is not going to send their troops over there. We don't know how many thousands of Russian soldiers have already died, but they're fighting. They're fighting to keep that gateway closed, and the Brotherhood is there to open that gateway so all the Brotherhood can come through and free this realm of these Saxons. Help us out. Mm -hmm. I told you, brothers, since we got a lot of help. Alright, but we, they're coming to free the realm. They're not coming to save us. They're coming to save the planet. This planet needs to be saved from them. But we got it. We're going to join in and help them out. All right? We're going to join in and help them out. It's not about us coming. To save. It's not about them saving us. They're coming to save this planet. Because these Saxons are doing something. All right? Because they already destroyed CERN. And it took them three years to build, to rebuild CERN. Next time, CERN is going to be completely annihilated. <laughs> the whole area is going to be good desecrated oh yeah attacks this just keeps Run. getting better space Adams, oh. you flame. You a a space space flames extraterrestrial spaceship there was some kind of a lightnings was starting shooting from the sky and, and like sparks were going were like spreading everywhere and then they on the morning they discovered that the whole the whole machinery was destroyed y'all see that Perhaps this what it was. Such beams, more powerful lasers, and other new tech for next generation missile defense. Such weapons are needed, they say, to counter new missiles from China and Russia, North Korea, and Iran. But just figuring out what might work is a difficult technical challenge. So the Pentagon is undertaking two studies. The first is a $15 million exploration of weather satellites outfitted with lasers might be able to disable enemy missiles coming off the launch pad. Now, defense officials have said previously 
that these lasers would need to be in the megawatt class. They expect to finish the study within the next six months. Now, they're also pouring money into a study of space-based neutral particle beams, a defense, a defense form of directed energy that disrupts missiles with streams of subatomic particles traveling close to... Now, did you hear what the UK guy said? <laughs> or perhaps maybe it was this. New missile capability. There's a new report indicating China could soon be able to deploy a nuclear-tipped missile that U.S. defenses would find much harder to detect. U.S. officials tonight closely monitoring China's missile program following a report of a possibly ominous missile test. The Financial Times, citing unnamed sources briefed on the intelligence, reports China tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile in August. The report says the missile circled the Earth before speeding toward its target, demonstrating an advanced capability in space that, quote, caught U.S. intelligence by surprise. Today, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, while not commenting specifically on the Financial Times report, said this. We watch closely China's development of, uh, of uh, armament and, and advanced capabilities uh, and systems that will only increase uh, tensions in the region. Let's look back at the UK man. Remember, they just said that they lost, Russia lost all of their, you know, NATO privileges. Some miracle happened. It looked like some spaceship. Like there was like an attack from the spaceship. There was some kind of a lightning was starting shooting from the sky, and and like sparks were going, were like spreading everywhere. And then they, on the morning, they discovered that the whole sudden. So as you can see, the war over there is with the Brotherhood, and all of those. Missile tests, what they call missile tests, because they're all working together. And they, try, they try to play the role like, oh, yeah, China's want to um, fight against the U.S. and shoot and want to fire this. No, you see, the, they say the missile went into space and circled the planet or the realm. They're trying to fire the Brotherhood in space. All right. A sonic, a supersonic weapon or a sonic energy weapon all right brothers and sisters like i say one of the messages we way behind all right because these sexes put us in a sleep state we're way behind but the brotherhood is there and they're fighting against the brotherhood we got to get ready to join this fight this is the real shit so just know this war is going on this what they say ukraine and russia no ukraine and russia are fighting together all right, the Brotherhood wants to free those gateways. And this American corporation, China, Korea, you know, all of them, you know, they're, they're joining in because they know once those gateways open, it's all hell will break loose. They're the Russian and, 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 um, and Ukrainian soldiers are fighting hard. They're fighting hard to defend those gateways so those gateways won't be opened up. All right. Understand it's a, it's a, it's a much bigger thing going on. That's why I tell you these Texans, they lie about everything. They never tell you the truth. But there is a war going on in Russia and Ukraine. And they're fighting against the Brotherhood. All right. Just remember that. Signing out. Catch you guys a little later. Thank <laughs> you.